hey guys, you probably got yourself some new plugins, uh, maybe a whip transition or some glitch effect, and you're wondering how to get that plugin into Final Cut to make it work. And maybe you have done that and it's not working. And in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do it or where you're going wrong. So let's whip transition over to the Mac. First thing, launch finder, simple. You wanna go over to the side panel here and look for your home tab, the one with a little, a little house there. If that's not showing, go up to Finder, Preferences, and then to the sidebar tab, and then make sure that the home folder, yours might be called obviously something different to my name, Gavin Kerr, and just make sure that's selected. Close that out. You then open the Movies folder, and then the motion templates one and within that you should have effects generators titles and transitions while well, i've got your attention i'm actually loading videos every wednesday at 5 p.m uk time so if you're loving this type of content and you'd like more please sub to the channel and if you do let me know in the comments just write subbed and i'll give you a shout out on one of my future videos today i'm going to uh, install a glitch transition plugin so that will obviously be in the transitions folder and then we just want to pull the plugin that we've previously downloaded from wherever you've saved it to the folder. I've saved it for ease on the desktop. So I'm just going to drag that into the folder. It's going to ask me if I want to move it from my iCloud drive. I'm just going to click move to confirm. And then that's in there. Then we will launch or bring back up because I've already got it open. Uh, Final Cut Pro. Uh, I've got a project in here. And say I just want to add a glitch transition to this section here. I'll then obviously go over to the transition packs and you can see the free glitch pack is in there. Now, if yours isn't showing, um, I would encourage you to just close down Final Cut and reboot it. Sometimes it doesn't show straight away. You just need to restart Final Cut. And it's as simple as that. However, if you are not finding your effects within Final Cut after adding them to the folders. There's something that may be wrong in the setup there. So let's go to the home drive again, to the movies folder, motion templates, and then transitions. Now, although these are named correctly within the finder, if you're not seeing your transitions or sorry, your plugins appearing in Final Cut, it's probably because the extension of that folder has not been named correctly. So if you highlight the folder, command I to get info and then you go down to name and extension now if you look here it says transitions dot localized every folder has to have dot localized after it whether it's the titles generators or effects otherwise Final Cut won't pick up your plugin so there's something that happened to me a while back uh, I think I had to do a format on the drive and a lot of my plugins weren't showing so it was because I created these folders manually after Final Cut didn't do it for me and I hadn't got this extension. So make sure you've got that and then you'll have no problems. So there you have it. That's how you install plugins into Final Cut Pro 10.